Hi folks, welcome to my Valheim Ghost Protocol playthrough where I'm playing the game in ghost mode which means the uh, mobs ignore me so that I can get on with doing all the things that I find more interesting without constantly having to do combat. So we were out exploring so let's continue doing that. Find, a little, find out a little bit more about this world that we're in. Okay, I want to go south from here because I need to get over to this uh, altar for Ikthir anyway. So let's head on south and see how we do. Southward we go. And we'll do a little hopping to get our jumping ability maxed up. Well, not maxed up, but, but increased. more raspberries along the way. Oh, I should point out, uh, at the end of the last episode, we found a chest and took all the items out of it. I didn't pick up the chest because you can't. Uh, what you can do is you can use the hammer. Let me get my hammer out here. And you see the middle mouse button there, where, where it says here, mouse three, is remove. So you can click that on it, and it will take it apart and give you back some of the resources. Um, but you can't actually get the chest intact. And that's true of most things. Like, you can't take down a wall section and get that intact or anything else. All you can do is take them apart into their component pieces and then rebuild them somewhere else. Okay, so we've got a few structures here. We'll check these out for chests. I can hear bees. Oh man, I'm going to have so many... <clears throat> I'm going to be able to have so many beehives when I finally get around to doing them. Alright, let's mark that one then. Bees. Glorious bees. Okay, where's this other one? Out there. So we found some more water. Which is fine. What I really want to do is I want to find some uh, some other biomes, specifically black forest. Because black forest is where you find all the uh, the metal ores. Well, not all of them, but you find tin and copper which of course can be used to make bronze. Now we won't be able to make use of them right away because we need to go fight Ikthir in order to get a critical resource required for making a pickaxe, but I'd at least like to know that there's a black force somewhere nearby that I can make use of. So here's another chest. Let's have a look. And it's got more amber. Torch and some more flint. Not too exciting. So yeah, let's do this then. We'll take it apart. And we got a little bit of wood out of it. Because that's all there is. That's that's what you uh, that's what you make a chest out of is just wood. There's no other components to it. So that's all you get back. Okay. Well, like here. I hope he's not across the water. That's going to be annoying. Ooh. Looks like it may well be. Well, let's continue along coastline a bit. Maybe it wraps around or we might have to uh, eventually swim or build a raft. Uh, probably build a raft. That, over that distance, we we are unlikely to be able to swim it. Pick up a few more resources along the way as I go. Uh, and more raspberries. Not seeing very much in the way of mushrooms, though. Mind, you don't really see those in, along the coast anyway. They're more in the forest. So, I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. Come out here. See the world tree? Isn't that cool? 
I don't know if it actually comes down someplace. I bet you it doesn't. But, uh, or maybe that's an end game thing. But just kind of cool. First time I played, I don't know, I, had, I played for a couple of hours before I even noticed that it was there. Kind of hard to believe with it looming over everything like that. Oh, can we? Ah, yes, we clear the rocks. Okay, well, now you see. Now that is a distance we might be able to swim. Let's see where we are. Well, actually, the direction we're going right now along this coast seems to take us... Looks like it might take us right to the Eichthyr altar. Yeah, in fact, I think this is it up here. These stones up here. looking at grailing. Oh yeah, no, here it is right here. Here's Hoogan to tell me all about it. What's up, bro? Calling forth the beast. You have found the summoning place of one of the Forsaken. Make the correct offering at their altar and they will come. Be wary though, the Forsaken are not easy prey. So craft a wicked weapon, don your finest armor, and eat a hearty meal before engaging them in combat. Will do. By Big Bird. Uh, I don't know if this says anything. Uh, apparently it does. Hunt his kin. Yeah, so you can see there's a deer up here. A statue of a deer up here. So that's just letting us know that how we get the... Uh, how we get the trophies we need to activate the altar and summon Ike Theory is by hunting down deer. Okay, that's cool. All right, so that's fairly easy to get to. Oh, let's see if this is one of the other rune stones that I was telling you about. Hmm. Whole traveler and bear witness to my warning. We are many who have come before you, carried here by Odin's will to do his work. The path ahead is hard and the danger's great. If you hold your life dear, keep to these meadows and make your dwelling away from the trees. Fear the Horned One and spare his kin. Oh, I think this means we're right on the edge of Black Forest. So let's uh, head in here and see if it changes to Black Forest. No? No? Well, that's too bad. So it's basically a warning telling us that, you know, <laughs> to, to, to translate that into gamerese, the mobs will get tougher if you go out of the meadows biome, which they do. And we have another little ravine here. Not as steep as that other one over by my home place though, which is good. So I should probably, oh, speaking of steep though, here we go. So what I should probably do then is go back, hunt a few more deer and boar along the way, and then at least create myself some, you know, leather pants and tunic. That will help prevent me getting cold. Oh, I've gotten turned around here. There we go. Seems like every time I pick a direction I want to go into, I run into a ravine. Jump! Jump for your life! Oh, let's... let's take him on. The world will be a better place than that. Can I work? Can I, can I jump, 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 and you jump, 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 jump over? Not quite. Okay, let's go around. All that jumping has made me hungry, though, eh? 
And I'm all out of mushrooms again. Wasn't that an old air supply song? I'm all out of mushrooms. That way. Let's see what we have here. Oh, doors down here. Although I think <laughs> I think you can just walk in the side on this one. Now, see, this would not be a good one to pick as your starter home. Tree growing up mill. Although I guess you can chop the tree down. More raspberries. <clears throat> Still not seeing any mushrooms anywhere. I mean, at this point, it's not essential that I have more more of the mushrooms, but it would be nice to keep myself my belly full. Ah, some boars. There we go. Uh, what does this one say? Uh, okay, this is the one I was talking about in the previous episode. This land is hard and wild, but we who are brought here are harder still. Take comfort, traveler, in the gifts before you, the good wood and stone, the fruits and flowers of the forest. Look also to the wild boar who roam these lands. They fear fire and the hand of man, but they can be taught to obey it. Go quietly to them and let them eat of your stock. Roots of the ground are their pleasure. So that's kind of letting us know that uh, that they can be tamed uh, using roots of the ground. There we go. So I would have interpreted that to mean, you know, like some root vegetable like carrots. And while there are carrots in the game, we don't have access to them yet. But no, they just mean pretty much anything that grows in the ground. So. The uh, the raspberries and the mushrooms will work. And I don't know what the later things we find. Uh, yeah, I guess the other th later things we find. Later on we'll find other kinds of berries, for example. But I haven't tried feeding those to the boar, but they probably work as well. All right, let's head home. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, see, this is what I meant by the boar... It, like to hang around this one particular rune stone, the one that talks about how plentiful food is in the land, <laughs> to kind of like underline the truth of the rune stone. Uh, that was the one that ran away before. That's why its hit points were down. All right, let's put the axe away, and oh, I'm right by my home. Oh, that's not my home, though. <laughs> that's just one of the other buildings I was at. Let's have a look here. Yeah, my bed is up there, so I need to go north. North, north, north. Let's come up here. And just make things a little bit better for you guys, I'll take out a torch. Not just better for you. It'll make it easier for me to spot anything that... Like mushrooms that might there might be along the way. Uh, might as well pick up a dandelion. Eventually I'll need them. Ooh, multiple dandelions. That's just dandy. Oh, here's another building. Yeah, this is the other thing you'll find are these, uh, these kind of like abandoned farms. See, there's like uh, several buildings here and what looks to be an old abandoned, uh, plot, farm plot. And usually there's never anything growing in them though. Like you'll, you never find, you know, seeds for something that you can actually grow. Oh, that's right. They're afraid of fire. 
Yeah, they may ignore me due to ghost being in ghost mode, but they won't ignore the torch. Ah, another chest. Let's see what we get out of this one. More of the same. Oh, we can use the flint. Eventually we'll be able to use the amber too. Yeah, my favorite part of these old farms is that... Oh, there's a deer. I should put the uh, torch away. Although I don't know the deer are afraid of the... Afraid of fire. I think it's the boar. They really need to speed up that little poof after you kill something. Oops, other way. <laughs> Scared the war again. Anyway, what I was going to say is they have these little signposts in them, but there's no writing on them. <laughs> this, is, this is why the village eventually died out. They didn't know where they were going. They all got lost. Let's have a look inside this guy here. see a chest here unless it's behind me. Nope. Alright, back out we go. Oh, where's the house I'm after? Almost there. A little bit to my right. A little bit further right. Well, it's almost morning actually. I should still be able to squeeze in a little bit of a nap. Ah, yeah, you can see the warm glow of my fire, even from here. I guess I can save the torch right now. Oh, shouldn't be carrying the axe while I do this. It's a waste. I feel cold. Well, let's take care of that. There we go. You notice that resting symbol comes up. I don't know what the radius is, but uh, there's all these things that provide comfort and allow, allow you to rest. So uh, if you're near your near a fire, you start resting. That may be something where you need a roof over your head. I don't know that yet. But yeah, you see it says comfort four there when it came up. And that's because a bunch of these things provide comfort. So the fireplace does. I think the cooking station does. The bed definitely does. Um, and there's other things you can add to increase your comfort level, which I, improves the speed at which you can uh, recover your stamina. All right, let's see if we can go to sleep for a little bit. Good morning. All right. And something I forgot to do yesterday was to fix my stuff. There we go. Now, I have a rag tunic and rag pants. So I can upgrade my rag tunic. But I don't currently have the ability to make anything better. Hmm. In that case, maybe we'll make the bow. There we have ourselves a bow. Um, oh, the other thing we should do is make a flint axe. Since that is a better axe than what we have here, and we certainly have the uh, ingredients for it. And the flint will now become our axe of choice. Yoo-hoo. Where is it? Ah, there we go. Actually, the stone axe looks looks more uh, more modern than the flint one does, but the flint one is much better. Actually, maybe you can see it here in the stats. Uh, quality durability slash 15... What's this one here? Slash of 20, for example. Let you cut through things a lot faster, too. Um, 
I don't think I want to go for Ikethir quite yet. Well, it depends how many arrows am I up to. Just 20. I'd like to have more arrows than that when I go after Ikethir. So let's make ourselves a chest. Don't actually need that. I need the hammer in my hand. And it's an item of furniture. Oh, now I don't have enough wood. Alright, let's go and gather some wood. That's easily done. Log over there. Beat up this log. Show it who's master. Whoops. Okay, stop swinging now. Which one is this? This is a uh, oak. Ooh, no, we can't. Yeah, see, watch. If I try swinging at this oak. Too hard. <laughs> the oak is too tough for our primitive little tools. Whoops. All right. Uh, let's just find one beach and take it down. more. Timber! Oh, it's going towards the, uh, the hut. Uh, I don't think it can actually dam- well, actually, no, that's right, it can. If it falls on stuff, it can damage it. In fact, you'll see over here, we now have some wood, because it knocked over that other tree, destroyed that small little, uh, destroyed that sapling that was there. Break this apart. Gather it up. And take this one out too. Where is this one? There it is. And that'll give us more than enough for a chest. Okay. okay. Go back to our hammer. And we can put a chest on the floor here. Open up. Come on. Oh, yeah. E. See? I'm still doing it even after this time playing. I don't know what I've got in the game now. Maybe 30 hours in the game. I'd have to look at Steam to see. Probably more than that. Probably more like 40 hours. But even after that, I'm still having trouble remembering E to open things. I'm always trying to click on them. Okay, so we can put our scraps away. That, oh, I need to cook up all that food too. That's kind of tedious. I won't make you sit through that. Um, I don't need the flint for anything else. Okay. Oh, the other thing I guess I could do... <laughs> oh, I haven't picked up any feathers yet. I was hoping I would have picked up some feathers by now because I could actually make arrows myself. Because these are just... Are these flint arrows? Oh, they actually are flint arrows, so at least they're good arrows. But I'd like to have at least 20 more of them. And for those... Ah, here we are up here. That's a wooden arrow. I could make... I could just make myself some wooden arrows, I guess. And that would give me 20 of them. Okay, let's do that. Not the best arrows in the universe. But at least that gets us up to 20. Okay, so that gets us set, I think, for dealing with Ikethir, but that will have to be the next episode. I will cook up a bunch of food. Speaking of food, I should feed myself. There we go. I'll cook up a bunch of food <clears throat> so we can keep our stamina up, and then we'll go and defeat Ikethir and, uh, and see if we can't find ourselves some Black Forest. Excuse me. <coughs> find some black force and start doing some mining so uh, i hope to see you back for the next episode